Hello and welcome to the Decent Wrestling Show. In this episode we're going to take a look at TJPW Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling's show which took place on the 13th of June 2020 called I'm Here. This is the first TJPW show in front of fans in what feels like forever so this was great to see. We kicked off the show with of course the Up Up Girls, Miyu Watanabe, Raku and Hikari Noah. They performed the song that I don't know the title of, but it doesn't matter, this is always a treat to see. And I'm starting to see why people love Raku so much. She just seems so innocent and lovable, and sleepy as well. The opening match was Sena Shiori vs Yuna Manase. Man, I was looking forward to this one. Yuna's theme song is beautiful by the way. This was very similar to the Hikari vs Senna match at the pay-per-view a couple of weeks ago, with Senna fighting with all her might nearly getting the win. At one point during the match, Yuna threw Senna across the ring with a beal throw, where Senna landed on her head. It was nasty to watch live, but or near live, but she was okay. I just love this simple story of Senna not staying down, it really does well to make you want to see her succeed, and the day she picks up that first win is going to be crazy. Yuna won this match with a wheelbarrow face buster. For the story uh, in this match, which helped it a lot, I'm going to give this a three and a quarter. Very solid opener. Match two was the cat herself, Haruna Neko, versus Hyper Misao, no longer Max Passa. Masao instead decided to have some cat's ears and a cat's nose and channel her inner cat. Haruna was not impressed at this. She is the only cat wrestler in TJPW. They had a Nian off, which is not something I thought I would ever say about a wrestling match, but I am happy that this is reality. Both of them used cat-based offense with the rakes to the eyes and Nianning a lot. Masao got scared of being on the top rope even, which allowed Neko to take control. Masao came back into it and tried to rip Haruna's tail off to massive boos. Instead, she hit the Cat Hero Correctional System. Neko did make a comeback, uh, ending that with a sunset flip for a close near fall. However, Masao's cat gear fell off and she gave up being a cat and realised that she was being stupid and hit a top rope crossbody for the win. This was just a fun comedy match, which probably should have been the opener, but I understand why Senna is in the opener, she's the newest. I think it did go a little long, but for what it was, um, for the fun it was, I'm gonna give it two and a half stars. The third match was a three-way match between Mahiro Kiryu, Hikari Noah, and Kamiyu. Kamiyu now has beautiful orange hair. Kamiyu and Kiryu began working together, with Kamiyu standing on the outside and handing out instructions to Kiryu. It even became a handicap match with Kamiyu and Kiryu tagging in and out. Kamiyu kept teasing an eye poke on Noah, but eventually Noah made a comeback with a double drop kick. Kamiyu and Noah had a good sequence with each other, and Kiryu came in at the end and attempted to steal the pin but didn't manage to get the win. Kamiyu has a sweet drop kick on her, just a side note there. Kiryu uh, betrayed Kamiyu, but Kamiyu hit her back with a brutal chop. And I mean brutal. Kiryu then stole Kamiyu's move by hitting her with the eye poke, but Kamiyu got the last laugh when even while blinded she hit a big boot. Noah then came out of nowhere and hit a missile drop kick and then pinned Kiryu after a Uranage. I thought this was a good match and Kamiyu was excellent in this with the comedy at the beginning and she definitely has a nice moveset as well. Her and Noah worked really well together and Kiryu even impressed me for the first time. Three and a quarter stars for this one. Match four had Raku and Maki Ito teaming to face Pom Harajuku 
and Shoko Nakajima. Ito's entrance is always awesome and with a crowd and Raku there it was even better. There was so much energy in this match from all four performers. On the checkups by the ref, Shoko was so excited that she even kicked the ref, which I loved that little bit there. Maki and Raku missed a double Oyusami Express, which is lucky for the competitor who was going to get hit with it, because that would be a career ending injury if they took that move. It was stopped however when Pom tripped them both up. Pom then hit her death punches on Raku and Raku began to play the face in peril. However Raku did make her comeback and got the hot tag to Maki Ito who hit a double DDT. She went to the corner and did the cutest in the world punches and for the first time in months she had the crowd there to chant Ito-chan instead of having to do it herself. However Ito then missed the falling headbutt Ito and Shoko then had a good sequence with each other, ending with Ito hitting a massive DDT. Raku then tagged in and got beaten up some more. Shoko went for the 619 on Raku, but Ito made the save and the 619 had no effect on Ito's strong head. Ito then headbutted Shoko outside the ring. Pom de Justice missed and Raku hit a sling blade and the Dr. Yellow for the win. This was another really good match, and the ending was amazing teamwork, I loved the ending. I felt however that Pom and Shoko didn't really gel that well as a team. They are great on their own, but as a team I don't think they worked well together. But I'm going to give a three and a quarter stars for this one as well. The semi-final was the tag champs Miyu Watanabe and Rika Tatsumi facing Mirai Miyumi and Mina Shirakawa in a non-title match. Mina's theme is also really good. Mina was desperate to hit the Chansu in this match and desperate to hit it in front of fans for the first time in forever. Miu however powered out and tagged in Rika, but Mina managed to hit the Chansu on Rika. I love Miu's softball chops and Miu and Rika are a great tag team together. They even used a combo which involved Miu slingshotting Mirai into Rika's butt. A hot tag was made to Mina and her and Miu had some excellent action. I would also like to note that Mirai has a really cool submission move that she did in this match. Anyways, Mirai hit a big lariat but the pin was broken up. A nasty softball chop on Mina from Miyu and then the Daydream Eternity connected to seal the win for the tag champs. Another very good match. These four all worked hard and gelled well together. I enjoyed the hell out of this one. Three and a half stars. After the match, Ito and Raku announced that they will be challenging for the tag titles in July at KFC Hall, in which could be an excellent match. Go Ito-chan! We main evented with Miu Yamashita, teaming with the Bakuretsu sisters against the Magical Sugar Rabbits, Yuka Sakazaki and Mizuki, teaming with Suzume. Miu is a badass and rarely smiles, but even she cracked a smile in her entrance. I mean, being in front of fans for the first time in months must have been a great feeling. This was a fine, fast-paced main event, but I honestly couldn't really get into it as I don't really have a connection with the Bakuretsu sisters, Mizuki or Yuka Sakazaki. All I noticed was that Miyu is so freaking good at wrestling. Suzume was good as well. In the end, Miyu hit the attitude adjustment for the three count. Two and three quarters for this one. Overall, this show was a solid 6 out of 10. It was fine, easy show to watch, but nothing overly special. It was nice to see a crowd again, and the tag title match next month is something I am looking forward to. Match of the night goes to Miyu and Tatsumi versus Mirai and Mina. This surprised me with its quality. These four worked superbly well together, and Mina and Mirai could be a really good tag team going forward, possibly. MVP of the night goes to Kamiyu. She is the one that really stood out to me with her performance on this night. All her moves looked crisp and good, and she was highly entertaining on top of that, and she really mixed the comedy well with the wrestling. So she gets the MVP award for this show. 
Thank you for listening. Make sure to check out TJPW on Wrestle Universe. Thank you. Goodbye.